to Her Story. It's part two with our great guest, Elizabeth Woodson. We had to bring her back again. We need some more time. But listen, Elizabeth, what are some upcoming projects that you have going on right now? Yeah, I have two projects that I'm working on. One is a Bible study with Lifeway on the book of Galatians. Come on, Lifeway. And so I'm excited. Video Bible study and just digging into that with the folks. And then I have a, a book that I'm working on that is tentatively called, because, you know, they'd be changing the names. <laughs> um, I it, don't know. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Better Gospel, Seven Reasons the Gospel is Not Only mm. True, But the Way to a Better Life. Ooh. And so what I'm trying to do is to show um, and why the gospel is beautiful and all the things that we long for, that mm -hmm. the world says, hey, I can give this to you. It's like, no, the Lord is actually better. Uh, and so it's a tall order, but it's a project that I'm really excited about. Okay. So when you're in writing mode and, um, what are, what do you, what do you do? Like, do you go away? Mm -hmm. Do you like eliminate a couple of things? Like you let your friends and family know like, okay, do not call me during this time. This <laughs> oh, yeah. is my writing time. Yeah. What, how, tell me about your writing process. Yeah. I'm a person who, um, I try to write around things that inspire me. So sometimes mm -hmm. I've gotten away and been like downtown in the city where I can see all the buildings and hear the white noise. Like that just makes me excited. Okay. And the inspiration brings words. Um, but I will, I will shut down all the apps that distract me. Mm -hmm. I will turn off my phone and I try to write in blocks because it takes me about two hours to get in the zone. Wow. And so if I'm going to be in the zone, I need to be there for a minute. And uh, I'm the person who doesn't write a little bit every day. I tried mm -hmm. to do that with my first project and I failed miserably. <laughs> so I will go away for a weekend and come back with some chapters. Okay. And that okay. is my process. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. I know. Yeah. I, I'm, listen, <laughs> I'm still not a writer. So it always fascinates me when mm -hmm. I meet a writer and talk to a writer, like what their process yeah. is. Because mm -hmm. some people are like complete isolation. Yeah. I think you're the first person I've talked to who's ever said, no, I like the noise. <laughs> 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 All right, but that thank you so much for sharing yeah. that. Thank you so much. Speaking of prospects, <laughs> uh me being a young adult Y'all, it, it's been a journey um, trying to balance all the things in the yeah. midst of all the busy. And so I'm glad you are here today as we yeah. talk about like our relationship with God. What have you found? Um, like how how does our relationship or even your personal story, how does your relationship with God or lack thereof in seasons where you're focused on the busy uh, influence the rest, the rest of what you do? I will say two big things. Um, one is the energy to do things. Like where does, what is my source in? And I found that when my source is me, my cup runs out really quickly. Mm -hmm. And usually the ability to deal with other people, like if you're on the job and you're done with your coworkers, they be trying your nerves mm -hmm. per my previous email, right? Mm -hmm. And so you want to type back something that may not be the best, uh, but it is how, what am I pulling from to just live life? Mm -hmm. And there's so many things that we engage, so many people, so many situations. It's like, I need something that is limitless and I'm limited. Mm -hmm. And so I've learned that the Lord genuinely refreshes our soul. He genuinely gives us this supernatural joy and peace that you can't explain that I'm not going to get from somewhere else. And if I try, I'm going to be living on fumes and living on fumes doesn't go well. Mm -hmm. um, so I found that just for the ability just to show up every day, but then my perspective when life gets really difficult. And so the moments where you don't want to put your feet on the floor, like mm -hmm. covers over the head, I don't want to show up for today. And it's like, Lord, you're with me. Lord, mm -hmm. you're going to make it work out. I legitimately do not know how the situation is going to resolve, but because I know you're faithful, it will. And so I have found that when I have that, I'm able to persist in situations that are really difficult. And when I haven't, that's when I'm in the bed, fetal position, like saying stuff is like, that's not your faith, Elizabeth. Your faith mm -hmm. says God can do something more. Mm -hmm. And so it energizes me on the regular, but when life gets really hard, that's when it's the anger that I hold to. That's mm -hmm. good. That's mm -hmm. good. Elsie, what about you? Do you have, like, how do you recenter yourself? So your, 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 your well or where you pull from is God. You know what? Uh, when I find myself in a real busy season, I have to take some things off my plate. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's probably been the biggest lesson that I've learned and that has really saved me and helped me. 
whether it's been mentally, physically, spiritually, taking some things off. Cause sometimes you just feel like you have to be doing something. I have to be doing this. I have to be at this meeting. I have to be at this board meeting. And then it's like, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to say no. And I can say no in the sweetest way. I can say no, like no. And then I find myself when I do not say no, and I have not prayed about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm dying a horrible death. I'll be sitting mm-hmm. in that thing like, oh, nope, this your this your fault because you you didn't seek me, you didn't ask me, mm-hmm. and this is why you're here, mm-hmm. and so yeah. on. Somebody right now is gonna be like, so that's how you be no, but <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I've learned to um, not get too busy, and then when I do get too busy, one of my favorite things to do right now, and like it's a beautiful day in Dallas right now, and is take a walk, Mm -hmm. take a walk with some, with some good worship music, whether it's Maverick city, whether it's CC ones and just to be walking on the trail that gives me peace. That gives me, that helps me just kind of bring it back, but definitely no, Mm it's been the Mm -hmm. biggest thing I've had to learn to say is no Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not try and explain it. Yeah. No is an answer. No, it's a complete statement. No period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love that. I honestly, I personally resonate with your uh, work example mm. per my last email. <laughs> <laughs> He's working on me, y'all. Um, but you know what? I find that whether it's at, at work or if it's in a school setting, a lot of times we're told that our faith does not fit in those yeah. environments. Mm. And so what would you recommend, um, whether it's someone with a traditional nine to five or those mm. of us that are entrepreneurs, what do you recommend for how we can continue to represent God in the marketplace? Yeah, I think scripture has just a really big um, vision for what it means for us to live in this world. Mm -hmm. And so part of it is that sin has corrupted a lot of things and broken a lot of things down. So all the bad stuff we see is because of sin. And I believe God invites us into a process to be restorative agents. And the word that comes to mind for me is flourishing. Mm -hmm. And so how am I concerned with the flourishing of my neighbor, whether or not they know the Lord? And that can be in really simple ways that I'm just a kind person that I am gracious, I seek for good, I'm, I'm quick to forgive. Mm-hmm. Um, and so how do I show up on my job in excellence, that I do everything unto the Lord, um, that I am the person on the team who's looking out for everybody else on the team, that I show up in a different way where people are like, um, what's different with you? Because mm-hmm. that happened. And if it was me, I would have told this person this, but you didn't. Mm-hmm. And it's the difference to me that I think provides the witness or the testimony that we prove um, the power of the gospel, not just with our words, but with our actions and how we live. Mm. And I think that difference, especially when people are looking for hope, Mm -hmm. they are in a hard, dark season and they're looking for answers. They tend to gravitate towards people who they see that in them. And so as we're building with people, we can be a person that people feel safe coming to. They don't know the Lord, but they know we got hope. And they mm-hmm. want a little bit of that hope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's real good. That's good. It's the sisterhood, baby. We had over 600 women, close to 700 women here today. Listen, if you weren't in the house, I'm so sorry. We are full to capacity. We'll have to see you in the fall. We had every generation represented. We got the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, 70s, 80s, and even the 90 year olds. We are studying the book of Galatians. We jumped in today. I am so excited to be here. You can feel the energy in this room. And we're going to learn about the truth of the gospel and why Christ has already set us free and how we don't need to get enslaved to the things of this world, but receive what we already have been given. Do y'all have, ladies, do y'all have like an anchor verse that encourages you? Maybe something that like in the morning, at the beginning of the week, when it's a new month? It really just depends on what I'm going through. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> it really just depends. It depends uh, if my girls have called me mm. and they've asked me to pray for them about something or um, my husband's traveling or something's going on with him this week. Mm. It just really, truly depends. But I think the main thing I've learned is that I have to go to scripture and yeah. I have to go to prayer. Yeah. And I think the best thing that you can do for anybody that. Um, whether it's a friend, whether mm-hmm. it's a spouse, whether it's um, a sibling, is how can I pray for you? Mm-hmm. That's good. Like, how yep. can I pray for you? I think that's the sweetest sentence that you can say to someone. Mm-hmm. Um, even that coworker, you'd be like, I don't like you, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Peace that's and blessings. Peace, Peace and blessings. <laughs> or, you know, or if. 
you know, just to, you know, just yeah. make things, make things all right. Mm-hmm. And like, how can I pray? Even if you don't feel comfortable saying that to that person, mm-hmm. um, but praying for them without them even knowing, mm-hmm. I think that's the most powerful thing you can yeah. do. My mother taught me that mm-hmm. is praying for someone that yeah. has made you mad. <laughs> that's gross. Yeah. That it is. is spiritual it is. maturity. I don't have time to talk about like, yeah, mm-hmm. when I had to do that and yes, but it, Yes, it is serious growth. I was like, I know I'm a Christian. Yes. <laughs> Shocks. No, I'm saying. I know it. <laughs> I pray for you. I don't like you. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's, yeah. What about you, Elizabeth? I would say in this season, it is, uh, as Jesus is talking to his disciples, I think it's present in multiple of the Gospels. Mm-hmm. He talks about how they will know you by your love. Mm -hmm. Um, and how I like to describe love in a culture that I think doesn't always understand what it is, Mm -hmm. is that love doesn't always feel good, but it seeks the good Mm -hmm. of the other person. And the good is that you be formed into the image of Christ. And so how can I, sometimes love is me showing grace. Sometimes Mm -hmm. love is me giving a hard word because I know that as your friend, I need you to come back to the side of Mm -hmm. living with the Mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. Uh, but how can I be a person that embodies that for somebody else? And it's convicted me even in situations where I have difficulty and conflict in friendship. How can I, even in my mind, I'm not going to rehearse my argument. I'm not going to go over all the things I'm going to pray, leave it with the Lord and be done with it because that's love. Mm -hmm. Even in my thoughts, how can I love this person? Mm -hmm. That's That's a good one. That's encouraging. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. I think for me, um, definitely in a season where there's a lot of different transitions going on, and sometimes it can feel like, what's going on, God? Like, I just want to be on steady ground at this point. So you can never go wrong with just kind of falling back. to. I always hear the Holy Spirit in my mind just telling me, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And it's like, even in a time where I don't know what's going on, he does. Mm -hmm. Um, I never have to worry about trying to control things on my own, which sometimes is what we default to. Um, but it always keeps me grounded and kind of reels me back in and reminds me even in past situations, he's seen you through that. He didn't bring you this far just to bring you this far. Um, so that's always a go-to. It's always a go-to. Yeah. Yeah, That's a good Mm -hmm. Mm go-to. Yeah. Well, I will say this, listen, it has just been just such a blessing Mm -hmm. just to have you here and just to fellowship and worship with us and give us some wise counsel. But listen, how can we keep up with you? How can we keep up? What's going on with you? Um, You can keep up with me on Instagram. Uh, My handle is at Miss Jazzy Liz, Mm. M-I-S-S-J-A-Z-Z-Y-L-I-Z. And then I also have a monthly newsletter I send out with like articles and resources and all those things. And so you can find that at my website, thewoodsoninstitute.org. Come on. Love that. Woodson Institute. Institute. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> we love it. We love it. So anyway, y'all be in prayer for our girl. We love her so much. She is um, giving God's word to just our nation and just everybody who comes in contact with her. And that's not an easy task. Mm-hmm. Listen. So just remember her in her study time, her devotion time. And we will definitely be praying for you in your upcoming book projects. We are so proud of you, our sister in Christ. Listen, thank you so much for joining us today. And we'll see you next time on Her Story.